welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, and we are here and with Tigray and her three pups. And we have actually just moved, as you can see over there, to the den right next to Slogue Creek, where we can actually uh, consistently hunt... Um, Beavers now. I want to see if I look at the quests, will it tell me how many? I don't know. Yeah! Oh wow, we have 22 hexes now. But only 7 dead sites. We're gonna be able to leave quite a few hexes alone now. Namely, like, the ones up here. But, eh. We might want to hit that one, but, like, also don't really care about that and uh yeah so I think we're actually gonna head to sleep our pups are about 10 pounds 10 to 11 pounds in that range and uh I regret naming it in what it is should have named it like beaver burrow or something <laughs> So, like literally we moved here for the beavers. Oh please don't tell me that like uh, okay, no we're fine. Hold on, I'm gonna Okay, I was gonna be very upset if we like finally decided to move here. It's a rabbit, right? Yeah. We finally decided to move here, and then it's like, haha, psych. So now we're in the Evans area. Is iguana not feeding you? You guys not getting fed by iguana? Okay. There you go, guys. Oh, they're so cute. I love them all so, so much. Hi, oh, Bumblebee. Oh, and Iguana's trying to play. Nope, nope, come on, nope. Focus a little more on your mate there. Oh, and apparently we're tired. I wonder if they can eat the beaver carcasses once they're old enough. They probably can. I love how you can see like the ring and the dots on her tail from from her father. Just I love that so much. All right. Um, uh, I think yeah, our affinity is fine. The fleas are mild because we just moved twice. <laughs> Remember to cut that out, am I? Probably not, unless I finally stop piling video bomb video and then just scheduling them all. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to do multiple things that I didn't know I had to do. So, ah, shoot. Why do you... Why do all three of you have to come out so quickly? Like, I admire that you're all really fast, but yeah. Watch Rabbit be like, uh... Watch Rabbit out of all of them have like negative two, uh... Speed. Because <laughs> like, I think Rabbits are supposed to be super fast. Yeah, you just sent post over there. Beaver. So that's a beaver trail. Is the wind blowing? Oh, the wind would not be blowing in our favor at all. Not one bit. Oh, shoot! Oh, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna lose this one. Ah, shoot, I forgot they bit back. Jeez, uh, they're out and about today. 
Iguana, where the frick are you? Yet, yeah, nope. We're about to lose this one. <sighs> oh, there you are, Iguana. Alright, let's just... We'll, we'll come out here. And we'll sit. Can you see them both coming back? I wanna come back over here. Oh no, those are mule deer. That explains why they're so big. still see the beavers. Come here, Glenna. I'm gonna try to stay, like, in between them and basically be, like, whichever trail has a beaver coming out of it first. Let's go on we'll hit. So we seem to hit them at a fairly active time, but then we spooked them. Is that? No, I think that's a, uh, yep, a mule deer. Mule deer might be, uh, scaring them off a bit, too. Uh, fortunately, the wind is, like, high. G good luck with whatever you're doing. So it's not working. Although, we could try to go around and see if they go the other way. Uh, I think that's a snowshoe here. Sent. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Did not think that through all the way, I will admit. Let's go over toward the Skywater stuff. Pretty sure. It's not Skywater anymore, but... I'm also kind of surprised that they had a, they have a trail over here. And I guess those trees might be the trees they like. And yeah, no, no more sky water. Is that the... Oh, wait a second. That's the, that's the actual beaver dam. Tiger, I found the actual beaver dam. I wonder if they'll come out and attack you. Probably not, but like, oops. Not mean to growl at a uh, iguana. Sorry, iguana. Female dispersal wolves. Okay. I'll leave that be, I suppose. I don't know, we're probably not gonna get anything, but. It is worth a try, I think. So, yeah, this is going down quite a bit, but I do think if we could get uh, beavers to be their main source of prey, it'd be nice. It's just with beavers, the wind, and the time of day makes a huge difference. Because now it's not dusk anymore. So, they're not gonna be coming out anymore. <laughs> and now we're not gonna be getting anything. Let's see how quickly the go 
just by while sitting down. Huh. I'm pretty sure this does speed up time a little bit. Okay, it's snowing. I think although Tiger Eye would definitely be fascinated by snow, she wouldn't particularly like she wouldn't particularly like it. Like she she strikes me as a wolf that doesn't like cold, but she loves snow, so it's like she would sit in the den and stare outside. Oh no, Iguana's off over there. Hey guys! Bumblebee is a girl, right? No, Bumblebee is a boy. Alright. <laughs> Rabbit, don't you be wandering off there. I think Rabbit's a little bit of a... an adventure. I think she's excitable. Honestly. Rabbit. Nope. Was willing to stretch the rules a little bit there for you, but. Honestly, though, I don't think. Because I do feel like when you have all your pups out in the snow like this at night, it kind of increases their chance of sickness when you go to sleep. Probably not. That's probably just me being paranoid, but. We are going to uh, take the flea risk and uh, I'm going to sleep in here. Besides, in here, yep, we usually get dreams. Oh, we're dreaming of them in the snow. Of crows. And of beavers that we failed to hunt. And of the pups playing with crows. Oh, and of, okay, that was, that was a bit of a nightmare. She probably woke up to that nightmare. Oh, jeez. Is it raining? Huh. Yeah, this would, uh... Oh, I think that's him going, hey, you wanna go hunt? Yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit those before bringing them out. Just to be completely safe. You're coming? Okay, I'm like, come on, Iguana, I trusted you to come. Actually, I think we're, we're gonna hit that one first, because if we can only hit one of them, I'd rather hit that one, even though this one's probably gonna be pressed up against more. This one's got two high hexes, and this one's got one max hex. And, ah, shoot. There's stuff down there too, so yeah, we'll head up there and then turn down there. I think us kind of giving up these slots or those hexes are kind of making the other wolves be like, oh hey, like you know, free territory. Oh wow, Tiger Eye, you have such a beautiful secondary hell. Completely forgot. There, Iguana. It should hopefully, yeah, that'll. Eh, hey, that actually raised all of them a little bit. So, let's go ahead and try. Let's hope that there's still some beavers out. Smell beaver? You can smell beaver. Yes. Alright, we can smell beaver. Tried to approach it from the water. Why? There we go. Come on, Iguana. Iguana, fight it, fight it. There we go. 
Alright. We're going to take this back to the den. Good job, you two. Finally. There are beavers coming all the way out here. No, there's a uh, iguana's scent. Jeez, there's so many scents all over this place. So we're probably going to have to go back to those spots, but that at least gave us time to hunt, especially since neither of us were very full and neither of us could feed the pups. So, you know, food was a bit more important than territory there. If we could have a temporary solution for territory. I'm gonna go ahead. There you go, guys. See? See how they like the beaver? Bumblebee's more interested in, like, wanting the actual beaver. Oh. I thought Agona was gonna come. Okay, well. I think Bumblebee, we should try giving a uh, Bumblebee some actual, like, beaver. Maybe we should go back and try to grab more beaver here in a minute. Because we do still have... We could use extra food for tomorrow, and we are still a bit hungry. As well as Iguana being really hungry. Tuna Bumblebee Rabbit. And trying to sneak off there. Oh, look at her all sniffing in the air. Bumblebee, just a tad bit too far for me. Sorry, you two. Come here, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, stop sniffing at the bugs in the dirt. Although it is very fitting for your name. So, I think we are going to have them head into the den so we can get another beaver, hopefully. Come on, Iguana. Let's see about getting you some more food. And then we're probably going to end the episode after we sleep there. So, can you still smell beaver? Let's see here, not a beaver. Can we smell fresh beaver is the question. The answer... was no. I'm going to try to wait for him to get as far from the water as we can. Alright. And charge! <laughs> I was about to say, only going to get this if Iguana chips in. Iguana couldn't chip in there because game glitch. Iguana, come on. Iguana, Iguana, this is literally for you. <laughs> Iguana. I didn't know Iguana was such a swimmer. <laughs> Aren't, you know, don't Iguanas kind of similar? Well, let's go ahead. Let's bring this back to the den, even though it'll also probably attract more predators, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, nope. <laughs> I love these two. Oh my gosh. 
You're just running through the day. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I was awake for 14 hours today. It's a new record. You go on to eat. Okay, I feel like a, I feel like the mates. Why is Bumblebee the only one out? I'm not sure, actually. I might be sleeping. So what if Iguana, we bring this out to like here? Then will you eat it? Yes, okay, good. Bumblebee? Stay near the den, please. Thank you. Is you full iguana? Iguana, iguana, you still- Oh, you ate it all. That makes sense. <laughs> such like a curious one when your siblings run out like teasing you. Rabbit! <laughs> yeah, Rabbit's definitely a bit of an adventurous gal. I feel like Bumblebee gets kind of like a boy just a little bit. Like they're always teasing him about how curious he is. About how he always needs to know everything about the world. Like, I feel like he's that kind of wolf that will look up at the stars and go, how significant are we really in this world? <gasps> that, was, that was quick. Please tell me, okay. I heard the wolf howl, and if I hear a wolf howl, okay. I... Uh, was scared that that quick rain was gonna make it flood. <sighs> oh. Anyways guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let me know what kind of personality you think Tahiti might have, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye